Hey everybody, it's the Brink of Sanity episode 20, no, 32. Uh, <laughs> that was really loud and really wrong. We're off to a great start. Uh, hey. Artie's here. How's it Hello. going? Hello. Thanks for uh, coming on such short notice. That's no problem, man. I love the show. Uh, apparently, uh, bailing the day before the show is the new thing to do, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, so, um, we got a lot of stuff going on this episode. Uh, a couple big announcements. This is going to be an exciting show. Uh, I hope you can handle all the excitement that's going to come your way this episode. No? You still there? Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm here. I'm here. I'm just letting you speak. He was like, no, I cannot handle it. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Got to take your seats, people. It's going to be big. Uh, I'll just start right off by saying uh, I got the shirts, and I'm I'm actually happy. <laughs> uh, total opposite of last week when I was completely furious the entire episode, but uh, the shirts look good. So uh, I just made a store link. Um, so brinkofsanityshow.com slash store, and you can see we got three different colors. Um, I originally wanted two, but if you heard last week's rants, uh, I got three. So uh, go out and buy one, man. Yeah, collect them all. Buy them right now while you're listening. It's even better. And just so you so, know, I'm making no money on them. So uh, it's all for you guys. I don't know. No, you you got you got the uh, the extra ten. So you you're you're making extra. Oh well, no, actually four hundred. I don't know. You might be making some money on them. The whole purpose is to support your support your show. So that would be nice, but. Uh, between the the mess ups and the shipping and uh, all that stuff, it comes out to I'm making about less than a dollar on each one. So that doesn't really count. <laughs> uh, and the uh, the years it took off my life from all the anger that wasn't worth thirty bucks. So uh, you know, whatever. <laughs> it's uh, it's over. The shirts are here. I'm not miserable. So I'll just quote on the head. Um, on another note, if anybody knows anybody who makes shirts, uh, once these sell out, uh, I really don't think um, I'll be a repeat customer because uh, that was just ridiculous. Um, Get a little bit more for your money, yeah, I'd say. Yeah, listen to the first like 20 minutes of last episode, and uh, you'll hear what I had to go through. It was it was a six-week ordeal, which... Uh, Should have been like two, three weeks. At most, and I should have actually got what I ordered, but, you know... <laughs> At least in the end, uh, you know, I'm happy with the, the final product. So, you know, check it out. Someone is blowing up. Yeah. That's uh, uh, a... It's, it's cool. It's crazy. It's on the phone rings. You actually see it on the TV who it is. Oh, that's cool. It's uh, a little so optimum online thing. You want to put him on speaker and talk to him on the air? Actually, it's uh, Chase... Bank. I don't. I don't want to pay my credit card bill right now, man. <laughs> every time I talk to Chase, they're not happy with me. No, every time you tell them not to call you, they keep calling you anyway. So it's like, listen, I I know I owe you thousands of dollars, but I just don't want to pay you anymore. Just, uh, you know, been there, done that. Call me back 2015, please. Exactly. <laughs> so Couple, uh, last time we talked to you, you were. Um, Gonna do a show after this show. Oh my god, yeah the uh, the the highlight of my life. <laughs> so, that uh, night. Tell us about it. What, I don't even know. It was two chicks who do a music talk show. Is that what it was? Uh, you know what? It was a talk show. I went there. I got there actually. I was almost late. I used my cell phone like a navigator thing. It has a navigation system on it. And it it brought me to about maybe half a mile down the road, completely wrong directions, and it said I was in front of the place. So I walked down the road, which was no problem. I get there, and it's just like I'm sitting in a room with like a band, and I was like, oh, this is cool, you know. We were actually the last people to go on the show, and then finally we get on the show. Uh, and the the one, you know, I hate I hate to bash people. She just. Maybe she was on the rag that day or something. She was just a complete bitch. And I don't know why. And she like she was she made us do the one thing a stand up comic cannot do, which is do stand up comedy over the radio. It just doesn't work. No, you gotta feed off the audience and 
you know. Exactly. Exactly. And was and she, she like? Uh, was she like? Be funny. Go. She was like, "Well, do you guys want to?" She was like, "I don't know how to do this, you know," and completely unprofessional about it. And she's just like, "Well, go ahead, you. What do you?" Because I brought my friend Jake Link on, and he's also stand-up comedy. She's like, "So you guys want to do stand-up comedy for us?" Or, and I couldn't say no. I was just like, "Yeah," and I and I went first, and people were like smiling, but like you you just couldn't get the feel for it. It wasn't a comedy crowd, and she was just so snotty about everything and. All, every time, when all the people I was talking to, uh, like, after the show, just, like, asked what was up her ass, and I was just like, I don't know. And she totally bashed my friend. She, it's hard to explain. She just, she just wasn't professional about did, it. Did she not like his set? She didn't like any of our sets, because it was, it's probably pretty much a show made for music, but, uh, you know, Ben just, you know, hooked me up with it, and I got on the air, and I guess that's all that matters. But the cool thing was the the people after them, the, after the Rock Chicks, there was actually a show called the Mike and Hammy Show. We actually chilled with them, and like, I think we belonged more on that show than their show. But whatever, complete waste, complete waste of, waste of comedy for me. So, I hope to never go back on that show. That's uh, that's just messed up to even like. Did you know that she was gonna ask you to do comedy before you went on? No, because I, I asked several people. I've asked several people who've who have been on the radio, like, for, like comedy. I'm like, do you guys do stand-up comedy on the radio? They're like, no, it's impossible. They're not going to make you do that. And I was just like, it's going to be an interview. Like, I thought it was going to be something like I did on your show, because your show was awesome. But it wasn't. It was like yeah, five notice minutes of... Yeah, no, I didn't of, tell like, you to do stand-up on the show. So. Yeah, no, that would have been bad. <laughs> it just doesn't work. You can't do that. It's it's uh, That's just stupid. It was like it was it was like she asked me one question, she asked me what comics do I like. I answered her, and it was okay. Well, you want to give us a set, and I did mine. He did his. Her he. Oh God, sorry. <laughs> Jake Jake did his, and then she made fun of me because I thought Bob Dylan was dead, and she was a complete bitch, and that was that. Show over. Wow, fun. Yeah. Is that her like character where she's just like the. Uh... I've you know, heard I have no touch with the, the pop culture shows. Just fill in somebody that's a bitch now. I don't even know. Yeah, her the the because the Lex and Low, the one girl Low, the other girl on the show is complete cool, completely cool, totally awesome. She, she of course she wasn't the head one of the show, but she was just like down to earth. She was awesome. Hmm. She should be the host of the show, I think. But I hope they listen to this because I'm probably gonna get beat up. But is whatever. this like a big show or I like? I haven't heard of it before. You mentioned here. That. He, here's the thing. They on that station here, in NewBrunswick.com. She is th- their their show is probably like the most popular show on there because they know people from the Opie and Anthony show. Oh wow! And like if you if you see like if you listen to people's radio shows, they're just pretty basic. Their show has the full package, the full intro, like. Anything you'd hear on the regular radio, they got the hookups for it, you know? And I guess I I can't really say how she gets hookups, but I have, like, an idea, you know? But... <coughs> <coughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so, someone, someone said to me she was involved with uh, one of the a comic named Pat Duffy. But that's oh, just that. Okay. Yeah. I'm not going to get into anybody's personal business. I, I did what they asked me to do, and... Kind of got shot down for, but whatever, it's fine. All right, well, fuck them. We'll uh, we'll take. We'll take I promoted your, I it. promoted your show better. I excuse me. I told everybody that your show was definitely ten times better than anything they've ever done. So sweet. Well, you know, I like. It probably is. We just. Uh, oh, it definitely is. Yeah. That's what I need. I need a theme song, and I need like a, a PR person. Because um, <laughs> I, I just don't have the time. I mean, I do the website, I do the show, you know, I plan the guests, uh, you know. Like, there's only so many hours in a week, and I just don't have time to, like, do all this shit. You should get, like, a metal band to write, like, a like a one-minute, two-minute, like, intro to your show. I thought that was actually happening, the guy who wrote, uh, who made our logo. But uh, apparently, we don't have a theme song yet. It was supposed to be in the works about two and a half months ago. I don't know what's going on. 
Was it like a metal band or something? Or it was a rock band. They're kind of heavy, uh, and they, they last I heard they were in the process of writing up something, but and uh, it fell off the face of the earth. So I don't know. I'm gonna have to teach myself how to make music Play. and make my own theme song. You know what you need to do? You gotta get with the times, man. You gotta get some rap going on. No, never. <laughs> never ever gonna happen. <laughs> Don't even think that that's even a, a 1% possibility. It just won't happen. Not even, not even Jay-Z? What? <laughs> Especially not Jay-Z. Fuck him. <laughs> Fucking remixing Annie songs. God damn it. <laughs> it's our knock life. Ugh, he stinks. I wouldn't <laughs> even interview him if he asked me. <laughs> no. Oh, man, that's amazing. None of that shit. No, only good. I want a good theme song actually. Theme song that doesn't stink. And I want a theme song that doesn't tell you what to do. All the rap songs tell you to raise your hands and jump up and sit down. and It's like a fucking aerobics class. No. I just want a song where it's, you listen to it and that's it. <laughs> he called it an aerobics class. Holy <laughs> shit. I want to sit on my ass and listen to the theme song and, you know, snap my fingers maybe, but I'm not fucking raising my hands and clapping and all that bullshit. Dude, the soldier boy. <laughs> dude. Dude, you're on thin ice now. Mention nah, that. no, no rap, no rap, no rap. <laughs> soldier boy is like, I hate rap, but soldier boy is like a bottom of the barrel bullshit. The biggest one hit wonder ever. I just don't get how that was even a hit. I don't understand these songs that become popular. The, the other one, the one that pisses me off the most, I don't even know who it is or what it is. The background goes, boop, boop. Whip, 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 whip. And then the guy says, yeah, a lot. I that's, uh, yeah, it's, it's probably Little John with, like, a, the whole reggaeton beat, which is, like, the same thing. It's like, don't, but don't, but don't, but don't. Same thing. And Whenever they make I'm millions at, like, off at of a it. Bar, like, they'll be playing, like, you know, like, they'll be playing a rock song, and I'll be grooving, and it'll be cool. And then that song comes on, and everyone goes crazy and runs onto the dance floor. Yep. And I just, like, put my hands up in the air and shake my head and, like, go and sit down because <laughs> I don't get the appeal. It's an annoying background. There's, like, no lyrics other than the word yeah, and it just pisses me off beyond belief, and I just don't get the appeal of that. That's what America is today, man. And people All like, about the one word. All the girls dance to that song. And I'm like, well, I don't want to dance with the girls who like that. You know, then she has a shitty taste in music, and I don't want anything to do with her. Exactly. You know, I started the show off all happy, and then you brought up rap, and it was just... I'm sorry. <laughs> That's my fault. <laughs> this is what rap does to me. At bars, you could physically see, like, the energy get sucked out of me when the, when the rap comes on. I just can't do it. <laughs> I, I don't know how people do it. I really don't. I, I felt so old this weekend. I went to a bar... And they usually play 80s music. And uh, so I brought a bunch of people. Uh, it was like five or six of us. And, uh, you know, we go, like, downstairs a little tiki bar with a dance floor. And uh, they usually play, like, offbeat 80s music where, like, you don't hear it every day on the radio. And um, so they're, they're doing that. And we're dancing. And then a, a couple rap songs come on. And, uh, you know, I instantly get pouty. And, uh, you know, we're starting to, like, get mad. And I noticed, like, the dance floor gets twice as packed, and everyone's, like, cheering and shit. Yeah. And then uh, and then the music changes again, and White Snake comes on with Here I Go Again. Nice. And I'm fucking going crazy, and all, like, the five of us are, ah. like, cheering and dancing and shit. And I look around, and, like, we're the only ones on the dance floor, and, like, everyone's angry. And I'm like, all right, I'm officially old, because uh, me and my group are the only people who like this shit. What kind of 80s music were they playing? They were playing, like, Talking Head, Devo, or something, or... Yeah, or even shit that, I, uh, like, I don't even know, like, um... Or stuff that sounds like 80s, like, um... In Excess? Uh, yeah, you know, they played some In Excess. They played, um, Tones on Tail, which is not a very well-known band, but, uh, they have, like, an 80s sound. Um, you know, and then just some random shit, uh... I don't know, like, I know the songs, but I don't know the groups for a lot, because there was a lot of one-hit wonders in the 80s. Oh, yeah. Uh, but I feel like every time I go there, at least once, I ask the DJ what what song she was playing. 
and uh, the, you know, it's, it's usually awesome shit. Gotta play Talking Heads. I love Talking Heads. I don't know why. Stop it's making so... sense. The best live concert of all time. I don't know if you've seen that. On nah. DVD. Get get the DVD out. It's it's. Uh, he starts out with just uh, you know uh, David Byrne. And it's just him in a boombox and an acoustic guitar. And then the next song, they bring out another person. And, like, every song, they bring out another band member until the whole band's there. And then it's the whole concert. And they play Psycho Killer. Yeah. Psycho Killer was the first song. It was, he just had the bass beat on a blue box and him with an acoustic guitar. It was awesome. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I got to gotta scope that out now. They, they did uh, different versions of every, you know, all their songs. It was, it was very good. See, now that's talent. Yeah. That's but you do that, that's talent. Notice the bass beat wasn't... <laughs> and him just saying, yeah. And what was that? There's that other song where it sounds like they're changing frequencies on a... Uh, I, I don't even know what... It's another, like, low-pitch, high-pitch type of beat, but it just sounds like they're they're changing frequencies on a radio, and that's, like, another song. <laughs> I have no idea. There's, like... Somebody's going to get that reference. 400, yeah, yeah. Um, That's, um, it's another one with not many lyrics, and everyone likes it. And it just gives <laughs> a headache. Yeah, big headache. I know what you're saying, though. I'm sorry to bring up the rap thing, too. No, that's I'm right. Not... It's, you know, I'm sure somebody, <laughs> uh, you know, now I'm going to get all these emails and phone calls about, uh, about rap. You don't like... It just set me off the handle. You don't like rap music? Oh, what's wrong with you? You got to get with the times, yo. Liking good music is so last year. He likes talent, people. Talent. Yeah, you know. Excuse me for liking a melody and a chorus and, you know, knowing how to play your own instruments and, you know. Yeah. Actually singing, maybe. I don't know. Call me crazy. It's just Using using a extended vocabulary. Yeah. Not telling me what to do. <laughs> Minding your own business and just making your song. I don't know. I get yelled at by the Roots. You know the Roots? Yeah, I know the Roots. I'm familiar with them. I was security for one of their shows, and uh, I was like, I had to stand right in front of the stage and like make sure nobody tried to like, I don't know, jump on stage or whatever. And Pull the Roots. They're like, yo, everyone make like you're driving like a car. And what? Yeah, they put their hands out, and you know, they're making like they're driving a steering wheel. And I was like, oh my fucking god! And they're like, yeah, security, you too. I just turned around, I looked up at them, I just shook my head, no, like, I'm not going to do it. They, they pointed to me at the fucking concert, like, oh, this is too cool to do that. I'm like, well, yeah, I guess I am. I don't want to make, like, I'm driving, like, a car to your it's stupid like, song. <laughs> no thanks, I took driver's ed in middle school, so. Yeah, exactly. You know, that's, that's, just sing your fucking song and leave me alone, please. I already have my license, don't worry about my driving. Ridiculous. <laughs> that was my short security career. I'm like, I can't deal with this shit. It's like, I'm going to do that. Anybody anybody else famous you uh, security for? Or? G Love and Special Sauce. Wow. Uh, I like cold beverages. Mm-hmm. That, wow. that was actually a lot of fun. I actually got to go backstage and uh, partake in some extracurricular activities with him, which was a lot of fun. Nice. And, uh, nice. The, the only other one was Shooty's Groove. They're like I've heard uh, of Shooty's Groove. They're like a a a, a rap rock band. Uh, very good, actually. Like, that's the kind of rap I could deal with, because, like, it actually had, like, rock songs in the background, and, like, yeah. they were actually, you know, decent rappers. They had good lyrics and shit. But, so, of course, they only made three albums and then fell off the face of the earth, because, you know, I guess they weren't mainstream enough. But, uh, you know, it was good shit. I've heard of them before. I've, I've heard the name, but I've never, I don't think I've ever listened to them. Were you ever uh, were you ever a little biscuit fan or no? No, couldn't stand that shit. Yeah, I had a roommate. Actually, uh, the original co-host of the show uh, was a huge Limp Biscuit fan. Just never could get into it. Chocolate starfish. He he liked all that rap rock bullshit. The uh, corn and stained and all that shit. Just, I couldn't do it. I got I got I give I give stained some credit though. I mean they're. It's a little bit. They're they're not too bad, but they I, they play their. I kind of like their first album. I think it was. Yeah, with uh, Mudshell on it. Uh, that might have been it. Yeah. Um, 
And then, like, all the other bands, I liked maybe, like, one song. Uh, except for Limp Bizkit. I don't think I liked any of their songs. Just couldn't do it. I was I was actually a fan of their first album, The $3 Bill, y'all. And then they came out with Nookie. I I fell for that whole album, and that was it. I was like, no, I don't want to listen to these guys anymore. I went into, like, way heavier stuff. Like death now metal? It's, like, oh, the stuff I listen to now is just... I, t- I describe it as, like, a southern metal kind of thing. Like, have you ever listened to Airborne? No, I never even heard of them. Uh, Every Time I Die? Nope. No? Uh, Maylene and the Sons of Disaster? Where the fuck do you hear about this shit? This stuff <laughs> is, uh... Actually, Every Time I Die used to be, uh... Like, you know, like a hardcore, like, metal band, and then they just kind of... Rift, they kind of rift it up. Like, a lot of them, I can compare them to, like, the most famous band... It's like Jet with an Edge. If you ever listen to Jet, but it's a little more, a little more aggressive. Mm-hmm. It's kind right. of stuff like that. That's cool. Like old school, like rock mixed with like today's like metal. It's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I saw Pantera live. That was pretty cool. Oh, that's amazing. It was. That's actually. No, you didn't hear the lineup. It was Deftones and then Pantera and then the original Black Sabbath lineup. Wow, I like the Deftones. I I'm hate actually, the Deftones, but really? the other two bands were awesome. <laughs> that was Deftones the other band like uh, a... Bri, Bri was obsessed with, the Deftones. You were obsessed with them? No, uh, the original co-host was obsessed with them. Oh, oh yeah. They were, uh, I've been listening, I've listened to them for like the longest time. For maybe like eight, nine years now. They're like one of like the big bands I first ever got into, so. It was pretty good. Yeah, just couldn't do it. I don't know. I'm what are, what are the? No, you're not weird, man. Everyone has their own kind of taste of music. It's all good. The uh, what's that other band? Oh, it was um, I don't know. I forget. There, there was one other band that got really popular. That I just couldn't do. But uh, Is I ended up having to see them live because they opened up for System of a Down. Ooh, I think I know who you're talking about. I can't think of them though. They have a song in Rock Band. Uh, and I really, really don't like them at all. But they got really popular. I'm trying to think who you're talking about. I'm, I want to say I want to say Oasis, but I'm totally wrong. No, with I Oasis. really like Oasis actually. <laughs> I do too. I know I like Oasis. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. I have Rock Band too. It's um, it's a really, it's a really crappy song. Is um, it was it like a metal band? Uh, they're heavier, but they're kind of shitty. Um, I'm looking up like the rock band uh, soundtrack soundtracks. Soundtrack That's what I'm looking right up to. <laughs> uh, uh, I hate it so much, and uh, I just can't think of the name right now. Maybe I shouldn't have drank so much before we started. Uh... <laughs> I'm drink. By the way, <laughs> I'm drinking blueberry vodka right now. Oh, ah, it's, that's not too bad, is it? It's very good, actually. Uh, I'm a, I'm a blueberry fan. Actually, I had blueberry blueberry uh, frosted weedy things today. They were really good. They just came out. The frosted mini wheats. Every cereal has to have like twelve kinds of it now. Yeah. Yep. You can't. can't. Uh, you can't just have Cheerios. You have to have thirteen different Cheerios. Crazy yep. flavors and. <laughs> Dude, it's not. I, I know it's in Rock Band. It's not on the list of Rock Band songs. It's is it in? Uh, is it in? You might think of uh, Guitar Hero. Uh, I don't think I am actually. I don't know what it's not a. It's not. I don't know. Oh well, I'll think of it later. It's. It'll uh, come to your mind. Yeah, it'll definitely come to, you, and uh, it's it's a really crappy band. I mean, it's not the crappiest band in rock band. That's definitely Fall Out Boy, and I banned it from my apartment. <laughs> nobody's you're not a fan of Fall Out Boy. I fucking hate Fall Out Boy, <laughs> and it, nobody's allowed to come over and play that. I'll turn the entire system off before people play that. That's like <laughs> there's like a million and a half bands out now today that just sound exactly like, and I and like all of my friends are like into that music, and I was just like. I'm like, how do you guys tell the difference between the two? 
And they're just like, oh, it's easy, the song name. I was like, oh, okay. Now that, that's a good point. I'll just remember song names now. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know what? It is in Guitar Hero. It's in Guitar Hero 2, I think. Guitar Hero 2. This is awesome radio. Man. Is it Lamb of God? No, it's not Lamb of God. Not Lamb of God. Is it Avenged Sevenfold? No, I actually like the Avenged Sevenfold kind of. A little bit. I'm trying. I'm just trying to think of bands that would have toured with uh, on that um, guitar here that would have toured with uh, System of a Down. Uh, it's uh, oh, fuck. I don't know. All right, next topic. <laughs> I'll just yell it out when when I remember. Coldplay. Oh, no, it. it was no, not, not Coldplay. <laughs> It was not... No, they would never tour with System of a Down. Although it's Coldplay probably, is another band that I think is very overrated. Yeah, they, the first album... Well, the first one they hit America was okay. The second one, eh. Then they just like ran out of topics, and they just started throwing lyrics to a sad song, and people just like, oh, great. Incubus. Incubus, yes. I hate Incubus. They actually, yes, they did, they did, they, I seen them with the Death Zones. Oh, My one friend worst was like show obsessed ever. with Incubus. That's the worst show you could possibly go to. It was, it was Death Zones, Incubus, and uh, Taproot. Okay, well, if you replace Taproot with Fall Out Boy, that's the worst show you could possibly It's go the to. worst show ever, yep. <laughs> <laughs> that's like an anxiety attack waiting to happen for me. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm actually, glad we took ten minutes to uh, figure that out. <laughs> Uh, well, if anybody's still listening, um, we, we got more topics. We actually have stuff planned for today. Yeah, <laughs> we just kind of floated off. So I had a, a surprise party thrown for me this weekend. Really? Uh-huh. I had no idea, actually. Um, it was uh, supposed to be a birthday surprise party, which really threw me off because my birthday was at the end of July. So that was like, you know, three and a half weeks ago. But apparently, my sister kept trying to throw it, and um, I kept making plans. I, you know, I went to Maine, I went to Long Island, I kept kept going around. So she kept having to postpone it. So she <laughs> finally threw it, and it worked out weird because I had to take. Um, well, I didn't have to, but I went to take uh, Apple classes. If you go to the Apple store, they they throw free classes. Oof, and since I cool. just got a Mac, I, you know, I went to learn some programs. So I mm-hmm. went out for the afternoon to do that, and then apparently I gave everyone time to come in and set up so uh, i partied pretty hard actually that bar i was telling you about where they they play the 80s music uh is that is that called the breakfast club by any chance no it's called niagara niagara okay so uh we we went there and we partied real hard that night and then the next day i had to go take these classes so i'm like half asleep (laughs) barely functioning i come back to my apartment around 6 30 that evening and i'm like you know, I'm already like half asleep. All I'm thinking about is like going, you know, going back to bed. I right. walk through the door, and it's just like all these people yelling surprise and throwing streamers at me, and I had no <laughs> idea what the hell was going on. I just stood there and I looked at everyone, and I just said, "What the hell?" And then I just stood there again, and then it got really awkward because I didn't move, I didn't react, I just said, "What the hell?" and stood there. So everyone was, like, done, like, cheering, and, like, then they all just looked at me, and I looked at them. It was, like, this really, like, <laughs> awkward thing. And, so, uh, so the, te- what was that? So, technically, Gig would have made you wait for, like, if you, you kept pulling, if you kept uh, postponing the dates, you could have had your birthday party in, like, Christmas time, right? I could have. If you, cause you could have had it next year's birthday. Yeah, it was, uh, you know, it was far enough removed where I was just like, I don't know what this is for. And, you know, I was like, I was thinking like different scenarios. I walked in with my girlfriend, so I was thinking like, maybe this is for her. I don't want to like start thanking people and like embarrass myself and have it be for her. And I'm like, you know. Oh, when was your birthday? Oh, it was a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, it's not for you. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But happy, so, happy, happy belated. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't know what was going on. And the first person I saw was my buddy Will, who I do uh, the YouTube videos with. And right. Like, 
he never comes to visit. So when I saw him, I just I was totally confused. I didn't know what was going on. So it was that, that was a pretty funny experience. How old? How old you turn? I didn't, I'm I'm an old man. Just turned thirty. Thirty. Wow. Yeah, oh, happy belated, man. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Uh, Surprise! <laughs> I feel every second my age <laughs> and more. Oh man, now nah, thirty, thirty's the new twenty. That's what they. It really is. Now. Like you can't afford to do anything at thirty that you could have earlier in life these days. You know, most people like like two generations ago, you were thirty, you were already married, you had two kids, you had a house. You can't afford to do any of that shit now. Yep. Thirty's just ah, still frat days and beer and. Hot chicks in clubs where they play rap music. That's all life is. And 10, 10 to 30 debt and grand, <laughs> and, uh, grand in debt and uh, losing your hair. <laughs> That's what 30 is. Now, what's he hit? 40. No, don't even think about 40. Sorry. No, that's a, that's a little while away. Hopefully I won't have any more debacles like the, the shirt debacle that'll make me lose another inch in my receding hairline. Because... Uh, Really don't want to deal with that shit anymore. Well, they got Rogaine. Rogaine's fine. But I've heard people have been using Rogaine for other things. Like what? armpits. Like armpits stuff. Why would you want armpit hair? I don't know. I like guess it's a manly thing. Don't know. That's a stupid thing, I know. That's so, probably I, the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Gotta search. I wanna search it on search it on Yahoo to find out guys who are using it for their armpits and it's not even made for your armpits, but whatever. Do people really do that, or are you just making shit up now? No, no. My my aunt was telling me about that, and then she showed me an article. I believe it was on MSNBC, and there was people actually put it under for just to get a, I guess just to get hair under their arms. I guess people couldn't hit puberty at the age of 60. I mean, that's their problem, though, right? Nobody finds that sexy. Nobody. I... I I mean, I guess, I don't know, women, I don't know, I've never asked them about that, but... Man, do, you, do you like armpit hair? Do you like looking like a Yeti? What if I had three times as much? What, what do you think about that? <laughs> I I just want to have a ponytail. Use we'll a rubber much. band. How about back? I'm going to just have this massive bush on my back now. <laughs> What's it? I'm going to have a happy there's... trail going all the way down my back. <laughs> <laughs> like, like one of those rat's hair things that was like popular in like '92. Yeah, rat, yeah, get get a rat hair. tail, but just go from the rat tail down your back all the way down to your ass. The Billy Ray Cyrus or people trying to get like a skullet. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> there was there was an artist, wasn't there? There was that uh that lady who wrote the uh, theme song for Dawson's Creek who didn't shave her armpits. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. something cold or something. <laughs> Something. I, don't, I want to say Keisha Cole, but she's black. Yeah. I mean, not, not that's a bad thing, but the girl is saying that was white. So I don't know, but... Yeah, I guess armpit, armpit hair is a new thing. I'm going to put Rogaine just on my big toes. Just have huge <laughs> shrubberies on my big toe. It's... Uh, <laughs> it'll look like you're wearing, like, Shih Tzu slippers or something. I don't know. <laughs> yep. Oh, man. All right, so... We were, we ended up talking like forty five minutes straight before the show, which we probably should just hit record because we uh, think we were more entertaining than than that incubus debacle. But uh, yeah, you were telling me some shit that I had no idea about. So the uh, the Bigfoot thing. All right. So what happened with Bigfoot? I've apparently I just stopped um, looking at all news articles or watching any TV, or I'm just totally removed from reality. So. Uh, Apparently there's a big Bigfoot thing, and I have not heard about it, so fill me in. There, there was there was something – it was on the news. Like, someone told me I was actually on Halo 3 when I first heard about it. Some kid just randomly told me, told me we were Halo 3 that they found, they found Bigfoot, and I was like, they found Bigfoot? And I was like, how many times can you find Bigfoot in a friggin' decade? They have video, but they had a picture of Bigfoot. I'll, I'll try to send it to you now. They have a picture of Bigfoot. Um, sitting in a fridge, a hairy-looking thing, and sitting in a fridge. He was he was sitting in a fridge, like a like a freezer thing, and he his guts were hanging out of his stomach, and it was a big hairy thing, and they and they found it, and they said they took blood. It wasn't human, and it wasn't ape. 
What was the fridge? And they where, said, like, where was this fridge? It looked like it was on the guy's front lawn. Like, they just had it there from wherever they call it Bigfoot. Just, you know, have it on the front lawn just All right, in case. this was in the south, right? Yeah. Yeah, no, you don't have a fridge on your front lawn in the north. <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't happen. See, I have, I have a, yeah, if, if you look at that link I just sent you, they actually have a picture of it. And oh, yeah, these guys are wearing camouflage and fucking... So nonchalant about it. They're just chilling there, like, hey, we got them. The biggest, one of the biggest myths of the year. United States. They found Bigfoot. It's gross. They said they said something about it. The blood was uh, badger's blood or something. They said it was a badger. Or something stupid like that. But dude, why can't? Uh, yeah, you just sent me the picture, and you can't make it bigger. And it looks like a fucking mask in the top of the. Uh, but you see, you see the organs hanging out. Like yeah, the, it looks like they like really like killed it, some <laughs> animal, but then they threw it over like on top of a gorilla suit. Exactly. I mean, of course, this is this is more than likely made up. But this this is like one of those things where they actually couldn't figure out what the heck it was, and they actually had a big conference thing on TV and stuff. This is also like a the, really the, shitty you know, website. Yeah. Like, why do people make websites this shitty? <laughs> I just don't get it. Like, I taught myself how to make a website in, like, three hours. And it's not the greatest thing, but it doesn't look like a piece of shit like this. This is just like a... Searchingforbigfoot.com. And, and they have the letters and flames. Yeah, the Searching for Bigfoot, do- Inc. They made a whole fucking company out of this shit. Watch they're gonna make. They're gonna get T-shirts, too. Probably, they'll probably get like thirty, thirty shirts. I don't know. Can you hear that? <laughs> What's that? Can I hear what? Okay, you can't hear it then. I'm watching the video where the. Oh, the hoax creature exposed. All right, this is. I gotta play the audio for this. Hold on a second. It's, it's only, only 30, thirty seconds. seconds. There's things here that you know we were able to do some touching and prodding when it wasn't totally frozen, when this was all set up elaborately. This tongue, that's real. These teeth, they're real. Here's the genitals. Pervert. What we touched, what we prodded, <laughs> what we all saw, was real, very much real. He's like holding the balls. Fortunately, it wasn't a real creature. Uh, dude. That was, I don't know. I don't even know what to that say was, about that. It that was heartwarming. Uh, so they found something. They killed it. It wasn't a creature. It wasn't human. So they decided they, to make searching for Bigfoot skull caps to sell on their fucking site. <laughs> because of the very uh, bottom, they have a Bigfoot radio show. They have a uh, they have Bigfoot uh, skull caps to sell, and they have a Bigfoot lives uh, sticker. That you can buy. Oh, Untouched. Bigfoot Lives the Movie is now on sale, too. Oh, there's a movie. There's a movie. Only it scrolls, so if you don't click on it as it's passing very quickly, then you can never click who, on it again. Who would play a good Bigfoot? I mean, Harry and Henderson's his top dog. Who would play a good Bigfoot? I'm thinking Gary Busey, maybe? Roseanne Barr. Roseanne Barr, there you go. There's one. Rosie O'Donnell. O'Donnell. Yes. <laughs> The perfect. And who's the hunter? The one and only Donald Trump. Mm-hmm. This ends all problems between the two. Maybe they could just use Donald Trump's toupee as Bigfoot. <laughs> oh, man. Give him some Rogaine. This was actually on a real, like, channel. This yeah, this is, is actually... Fake this, shit. There's, there's, like, a lot of... There was a lot of hoaxes going on. There was, there was this one, and then there was the... Uh, I don't know if you heard about the thing in Mobile, Alabama, about how some way they saw a leprechaun in a tree, and people were just going crazy. Like, it drew attention of the whole town. No. There was was nothing in the tree, dude. I swear to God. All right, that's it. We got to come up with something. We... (laughs) Like a... (laughs) Brink of Sanity. We found the first real-life Smurf. We'll just just spray paint, like, a rat blue and put, like, a a marshmallow on its head and just chase it around with a video camera. 
<laughs> Let me know, dude. Fucking, you found the first Smurf, man. <laughs> we gotta do something like that. The show needs some publicity. Let's, let's do that. I'll, I'll get a hatchet. Get a I'll chop off its tail. I'll spray paint it blue. I'll super glue a, 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 a marshmallow to its head to look like the fucking hat. And then uh, we'll let it run around like crazy. <laughs> And we'll put it on the 5 o'clock news, we'll kill it, and then we'll put it in the freezer. Yeah, then we'll gut it, and we'll put it in a fridge. And uh, we'll say, I the know there's world. only like three on the planet, but we decided to gut it for our own exploitation purposes. Buy our skull caps. <laughs> Buy our t-shirts. We have a Smurfs live. Well, Bigfoot doesn't live. You gutted it and put it in a refrigerator. <laughs> I'm sending you the link right now to the uh, mobile Alabama thing. You just <laughs> every time I look at this, this is just this is incredible. They really, oh my god, they real NBC. There was they showed you a a video picture of what they were looking at, and there is nothing there, but the whole freaking town surrounded. There is a. There was a guy who came with like a wooden piece of wood, and he was just like, "This wards off spells." This came up from like he said he he said he was from Ireland. He's like he said his family's from he's Irish or something, and it was a thing that was passed on from generation to generation. It wards off spells from leprechauns, and just, people were just buying into this. It was just the <laughs> most funniest thing I've ever seen. They have an amateur sketch. <laughs> and it's a circle with a hat on it. And that's the amateur sketch. That's the... <laughs> I totally forgot about that, man. Oh, God. It's... They just... I, I don't know what the hell they're looking at. All right. This will tell you... I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to play this audio clip real quick. This will tell you the kind of people that believe in leprechauns. Let me just uh, play this real quick. Casting a shadow Here we go. from the oh. other limb. Could be a crackhead, but that whole shit a wrong stuff. And it told him to get up in a tree and play a leprechaun. <laughs> Could be a crackhead, but that whole shit a wrong stuff. And it told him to get up in a tree and play a leprechaun. <laughs> it's a crackhead that got a hold of the wrong stuff and got in a tree and played a leprechaun. Thank you. <laughs> that was also coming from a crackhead, by the way. The lady sitting in the car, I believe, right? Yes. Totally. Crackhead! Dude, people believe anything. We gotta come up with our own scam. Dude, I, I like the Smurf, the bunny Smurf. I, I, or, or you could paint, or you could take a squirrel and paint it yellow and just find the real Pokemon or something. I don't know. Like, it's Pikachu. I don't know. <laughs> you gotta get people to believe something, because if, if a... If a Leprechaun can end up on the news and it's not there. You can do anything. Seriously, this is the most ridiculous shit. <laughs> so, is there any proof? No, there's no proof. There's no proof. No, there's nothing. It, it just... Something, I guess, they have nothing to do in Mobile, Alabama. I guess it's not your typical I'm vacation how resort. It is. It's an entire town of black people screaming, I want the gold. Because that's what they just showed. They, they, they got with the dreadlocks. Yeah. Guys, I want the gold, and they show a tree, and there's no proof or, or dude. just the just the amateur sketch that was probably done by like a 34 year old guy who doesn't know how to draw, and it just that's the leprechaun. I am so glad I don't watch the news because that would have made me snap. <laughs> that is just wrong. That's that's what that's what like three hours of boredom in YouTube can do to you. Just find the most random shit ever. <laughs> <laughs> you find Dude, a leopard on a mobile. Seven million hits. I make a video like ninety hits. Great, thanks. Crack it. Oh, that was that was hilarious though. That was fucking funny. <laughs> they have a remix. They have actually have a a remix of the video into yeah, a, I just like saw a. That. <laughs> <laughs> the one guy looks like Fifty Cent with his hat on, his gap teeth. Oh, wow, sorry, Mike Tyson actually. It looks like Mike Tyson. No racism here though, folks. None at all. Nothing. Uh, Alright, so what <laughs> else we got? 
I believe you. We were talking earlier about the. No, actually, the everything was covered. The Olympics. You're talking about the Olympics and the whole Michael. How Michael Phelps is on every single TV commercial right now. Yeah, I'm. I'm sick of Michael Phelps. He's a uh, he's, he's a rich bastard who's going to be even richer. Uh, he's going to get more medals when he hits the. Uh, Olympics in 2012 or 2010 or whatever it is again. I won't be watching. I'd rather watch the equestrian stuff, if you ask me. The horses are nice. Badminton and table tennis. That's where it's at. Yes. They're also taking, they're also taking sports out of the Olympics. Two of the major, uh, they're taking girls softball out and they're taking basketball out. All basketball? They're, they're taking male basketball out. Yep, really? You're not gonna see a team. I didn't hear that. They're talking because they're that's that and softball they're talking about because they uh, win too much I guess. But the, the softball team didn't even win this year actually they got silver. Wait wait wait, wait. they were taking it out because the U S wins too much. Yep. That doesn't even make sense. That's what they said. They said that the only people that really win are the the Americans. That's really that's the weirdest thing I've ever heard. Which is funny because four years ago. We lost it, the basketball, and if, then this year we lost the softball to the Jap to the Japanese, and it's just like, okay, do what you want. Are they going to take out skiing because German Germany wins every time? <laughs> Does Germany really win it every time? It's uh, it's either Germany or I think Netherlands. They like, if you look at like the medal count for the Winter Olympics, like those two teams win every single medal. Wow, like, I didn't we don't even, know even that. come close to winning the Winter Olympics. <laughs> we win the stupid shit like ice skating, but like I, I <laughs> fucking hate ice skating. I really. What's hate. what's that? What's that other sport they have in there? It's the uh, they. I I guess it's just like a big looking teapot, and they slide it, and you have to. They, oh, uh, curling. Use, yeah, with the brooms or something. Yeah, I think Canada cleans up on that. I think Canada's the only freaking country that plays that. Probably. Or, it's kind of stupid. <laughs> it's just like kind of a say that they kind of where they, they get their own gold. That's one of the weirdest sports I think they have actually. I've I don't understand I don't understand it. It's just You know what it is? It's bocce on ice. Oh, and they create like a pattern for it or something? Or, you know like what, a, you know bocce? Bocce is like that uh it's like you know, mainly played like it's like an Italian sport where you like you roll a ball, and you gotta try and get it closest to like the smaller ball, and then the other team oh, goes, oh. And they gotta get the ball closer than you, and you go back and forth, and uh, no, you know what? Actually, it's closer to shuffleboard. Okay, yeah, I know shuffleboard. Shuffleboard, you got that stick and you gotta push that little disc into different yeah. point discs. It's it's pretty much the same exact game only on ice. Oh, that's cool. I never. I just you'd see like commercials with it. And I'd just be like, okay, pointless. Don't need to watch this. Yeah, like all right, that's happening. I'll be back in an hour. <laughs> they're not. They're not taking. They're not taking the stupid stuff out of the Olympics. So there's like some. I don't know, man. I was just. I was just watching some of the things this year, and I was just like, wow, that's actually a sports sports thing. Badminton is actually competitive. I love that. I like. it. I got to see about ten minutes of it, but I would have loved to watch more of that. Handball? What about handball? Mm-hmm. That's all the <laughs> shit I want to see. But like when you watch on prime time, it's just all gymnastics and swimming, like the you know, balance beam stuff. Yeah. I'm sure any of the cool sports. I wanted to see handball. I wanted to see table tennis, and I wanted to see badminton. A badminton. I was just, I was surprised they even had that. I didn't, I didn't know that was actually an Olympic thing. Karate was cool. I watched the karate one. Mm-hmm. Karate was awesome. And then the, the the water polo. That's actually pretty interesting. Can't get into water polo. It's just a... I did, think it's like, like handball, but like one-fifth the speed. Yeah. And it's... <laughs> it's slow-motion handball. With a bunch of guys in thongs. <laughs> Oh, now I just got a bad image in my head. <laughs> like I'm all never the, watching that again. 
did you did you watch? I, I don't know what it was. It was the one of the races where I think one of the ladies on the American team who was running, and I guess she got hurt, and I I think she might have like broke her ankle or something, but she kept running it. And you could just, like, see her face in pain as she's finishing off the race. Oh, no, I didn't see that. She, and, like, all these girls, I I don't know if it's me, I don't know if it's the, the suits that they wear, but any female runner, they're all flat-chested. All of them. Yeah, yeah, that, pretty much. That might be the uniform pushing it down, but... I don't think so. I was just like, wow, someone wins a gold medal, they better buy some implants. I mean, <laughs> seriously. Did you see the uh, weightlifter who... Snapped his elbow in half. No, I. Oh God, no, I didn't. If you go to uh, <sighs> ebombsworld.com, there's a video of it. And uh, the guy is lifting weights, and he put he's trying to lift it with his arm too far behind him, and his elbow just cracks. And um, and then like he's he's like laying on the ground screaming, and all these like Asian women come out with like pieces of oak tag and stand in front of him so the crowd can't see him. And was then, he wearing green? Uh, maybe. Oh, Jesus, I'm watching it right now. <laughs> it's really bad. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, then they like they stand there with the oak tag until like a stretcher comes out to carry him away. So. He, you just see his arm go, and it's just like a... He just starts screaming in agony. Holy sh... That, that was, just hurt my yeah, stomach. You know, at some point, that was live on TV, too. Yeah. That guy's career. Oh, man. Yeah, that guy's career is finished. But, uh, yeah, uh, I, don't know. I didn't see anything else to... Uh, uh, the whole see. thing I wanted to see was track and field, and I missed the entire thing. I missed all the discus shot put. Yeah. I missed all of that, it. Did they, did, did they even put that on TV, or I didn't see any of that? Yeah, it was the last... It was during... It was, like, Monday through Friday of, like, the last week of the Olympics, and... I had something going on every day, and I missed the entire thing. Was it during your party? No, I just, uh, you know, between the shirt battle and uh, doing the podcast last week, and, uh, you know, just, I don't know. Something happened every day. I just couldn't do it. Oh, man. I missed it, and I it, I searched for it forever. Now that makes sense. I was watching that, and I was keeping up with the Little League World Series and all that good stuff. That's hard. For, I can't watch World League World Series anymore. When those little kids lose the championship game, they just start bawling their eyes out. And it's like <laughs> I'm gonna start watching it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, they take it so serious. I guess it is serious for a 13 year old, but it's like, oh, poor guy, poor kids. Yeah, like well, he got like 40 more years to win it. So yeah. Right. <laughs> oh man. All right, so uh, next Monday, when you guys wake up on Monday, uh, it's a new month, which means it's time to vote on Podcast Alley again. Uh, we got the most votes we ever did in one month this month, so thank everyone for voting. Uh, please do so again starting on Monday. And uh, iTunes, please, everyone, uh, subscribe through iTunes. Even if you don't listen through iTunes, just subscribe and write reviews through iTunes. Because once you get enough reviews and subscribers, iTunes adds you to the main list of comedy shows on there. And uh, that's how we get noticed. And uh, if they actually do that for us, there'll be hundreds of new listeners, and that would be awesome. So uh, if you go to the iTunes store and just type in Brink of Sanity, podcast comes up, write a review. I don't care what it says as long as you give us five stars. Subscribe to it. Make sure you subscribe to it first. Yep, subscribe and then uh, and then write a little review with five stars. And that would help the show out a lot. And uh, go to the main page, com, and there's a store now, and you can buy the awesome shirts. They actually did come out really good. I wouldn't have uh, put them up if I wasn't happy with the outcome. Are they, they're, they're full colored, right? They have the... Uh... Yep. There's uh, three different color shirts. There's uh, there's the logo. It's got you know it's a colored logo, and uh, I think it looks good. It's the same logo that's on the uh, the front page of the website. So, nice. Yeah, I, th I think it looks pretty good. So um, 
you know, and then give me some feedback. We got voicemails, we got emails, it's all on the contact page. Let me know what you think, uh, you know, guest hosts you like. If you want to see Artie back, uh, you know, write me, let me know. Please. Post on the forums, join the forums. Talk trash about me, do whatever you want, it's okay. He can take it. I can take it, I'm a man. I put I put Rogaine under my armpits, but it's fine. Now he's a super real man. There you go. I have a sloth growing under my arm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do the happy trail down my back. That's gonna be the awesome. happy trail. Yeah, Rogaine down my spinal cord. I'm gonna put like a little patch on my left, uh, my left back, just like the saint has a little patch of hair. <laughs> Grow one, one really big sideburn, and just have the other one normal. <laughs> mutton chops. Yeah, just one, Ugh. just one big mutton pork chop. <laughs> And, uh, I don't know. You have anything you, else you want to uh, talk about this week? Uh, I don't know. Anything good on TV this week? Wow. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but uh, I watch that often. That's a pretty good show. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, like honestly, I don't watch anything like while it's on TV anymore. I only watch The Office. That that's pretty much the only show I watch is The Office. That's all. I really don't like commercials, so I'll download it the day after it comes out. And watch yeah, there you go. Commercials. Just piracy. It's the best thing in the world. Scrooge yeah. commercials. And I you mean, can't... It's not even... Like, if you don't have one of those Nelson boxes, like, they really don't know if you're watching anyway or not, so... Ooh, what's a Nelson box? I've never heard of that. It's like the Nelson ratings. If you have, like, a... So, there's, like, a certain percentage of <clears throat> households that have... There's this box that records everything they're watching. Right. And that's how they find out the ratings for shows. They say, like, you know, I don't know how many boxes there are, but say there's, like, you know, a thousand. And they record all what they're watching, and then they they figure, well, if, uh, you know, a hundred of them are watching, we multiply that by how many people there are in the country, and, you know, there's, like, oh, two million people watching, you know. <laughs> that's awesome. I never, never even heard of the Nelson thing in... Till now, actually. Yeah, that's a, like if you look up the Nelson ratings, they'll say like there was you know fourteen point seven million people watching uh, Two and a Half Men, which uh, defies all logic. But um, you know they do that by they they take how many people were watching through the Nelson box and like multi, you know figure it out multiplied by like the population or something. I hope no one's watching Two and a Half Men. It's one of the most popular shows, and I just don't understand it. I hate that show. It's really not good, people. Stop watching it. Yeah, seriously. This is a this is gonna turn into a two and a half men bashing show. It's that it's, I don't know, it's just really bad. <laughs> Watch Always Sunny in Philadelphia. That's a good show. I've heard a lot of great things about that show. It's amazing. I I personally I personally watch the office. Not a lot of people a lot of people like it, but then a lot of good people don't like it because it's just too dry for them. No, yeah, I like I The it. Office. A lot of people don't like it. There's this one guy at my job who won't watch it because it doesn't have a laugh track, which I just find ridiculous. Like, you don't need to be told when to laugh. If it's funny, you laugh. If it's not, you don't, you know. You, this, every inch of that show is pretty much laugh. And you get, you listen to Michael. Anything he says is just instant stupidity, so you're bound to laugh at that laugh track. What? Well, that's why people didn't like Arrested Development. They didn't know when to laugh. It's like, well, you laugh when something's funny, you idiot. I don't know. I'm not you in wait. touch with reality. Again. They wait for a laugh track. Yeah. There's a lot of people who say that. They they won't watch shows about laugh tracks because it makes them feel uncomfortable. If I ever have a TV show, I'm just going to put laugh here. Every, every part I want them to laugh. Just so I get more viewers. How, how stupid can... What? Mm -hmm. That's dumb. That is just dumb. That's why I didn't watch that 70s show. Because every time, uh, whoever that Spanish guy is, Fez, every time he talked, they'd hit the laugh track yeah. button, even if it wasn't a joke. And, like, it, I don't know, it just annoyed me so much, I couldn't even watch the show. There's not a... <laughs> how can there be a laugh track if there's no studio audience there, you know? Like, how can... Is, well, not even that if it's a studio audience, like, just to... Just hear laughing in the background of the office, that would just sound so awkward. I think that's creepier. If, like, people are doing something and you just hear laughing, I think that's creepy. 
<laughs> there's nobody there, but there's somebody laughing. Exactly. It's two people, like, having a one-on-one talk in a bedroom, and then you just hear people laughing. Like, who are these creeps looking through the I, window? <laughs> I always look for, like, that, like, that, like, different laugh in the audience. Like, that one guy who will laugh different than everybody else. Well, you and know, they have, uh, they have professional laughers that go in the audience. And professional they, laughers? Yeah, they have, like, weird laughs that make people laugh just by hearing their laugh. So it's like, uh, you know, people might not even laugh at the joke, but they'll laugh at the guy laughing. So, like, it sounds like they got more laughter for that joke. That's this, the real thing. That is so dumb. Yeah, it's kind of stupid, but... It's, What's your occupation? I laugh. I'm professional laugher. It would be funny to get paid for laughing, though. Yeah. What do you do for a living? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> exactly. Really, what do you do? <laughs> oh, that's amazing. You also have to tell people to watch out for the uh the actual there's an actual live um smurf running around. Mm-hmm. Be careful for that, yes. Yeah, this... Stay tuned for the uh photos of that as soon as I uh as soon as it I catch ca- one. It it occasionally climbs up trees. Yep, yep. And what's, then, what's, uh... what town is that in? It's gotta it's in a town. It's gotta be in a town. Yeah, it's it's definitely that's in the south too. South, like, like none of this shit happens in the north. It really doesn't. I don't mean to sound like, well, you know what I do. All this crazy shit happens in the south, and uh, I don't know why, but stop it. It's you know, <laughs> it's ridiculous. We, we 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 know you guys are there. Just relax. We're not forgetting about you. Yeah, stop embarrassing yourselves, and maybe we'll stop making fun of you. That's that's the way it goes. <laughs> if we keep getting all this material, it's not going to stop. Alabama is still a state. You're like our favorite state in the world. Don't worry about it. We there's leprechauns all over. Right. It's fine. But if there I wonder if that was around. Sorry, go ahead. I just like if there really is a leprechaun, like I don't know, show proof. And yeah, or like if there's a bigfoot, a... don't like throw raccoon guts on top of a gorilla suit. You know. Yeah. Don't uh. Don't put it in the freezer either. I don't think that's, I don't think that's healthy. I don't think that's safe. No, it's definitely not. I mean, you're not gonna be able to store uh, burgers in there anymore. Oh, no. oh, that's smelling like it's gonna smell like a Yeti, and I don't like Yeti burgers. All that's right, so gross. before you come on again, um, we're gonna have to plan our our newest scam. And uh, okay. And we'll, uh, you know, we'll we'll find something that's uh, not real, but we'll find it, and uh, that's how the show will get really famous. Oh, we'll be the podcast that found the, you know, the, sm- the liger or something. The liger. <laughs> oh, everyone, check the forums. Uh, Muhammad's back. Uh, I think that was um, that was before you were ever a guest, but um. You know, I'm sure you've listened to every single episode and know them all by heart. But uh, just in case you haven't, uh, there is a scammer that uh, you, know, you ever get those spam emails that say, you know, uh, uh, I've inherited uh, hundreds of millions of dollars, but you know, I need you to help me get it, or uh, you know, you've won the foreign lottery, or you know, all these like email scams where you can get millions of dollars and all you have to do is help them out. You ever get those? Oh yeah, I get them all the time, and like, super one like I made thirteen thousand dollars just by typing in my name and username and password kind of stuff. Right. So like, I made it a, a, about a month and a half ago. I decided to just answer every single one <laughs> and string them all along and see how much of their time I can waste. So there was this one guy I strung along for like a month. Uh, I left um, voicemails and. Uh, you know, I played his voicemails and I put all his emails on there and all that shit. And uh, so I, um, I decided after it was over, I sent him like the funniest final email ever. I destroyed him and uh, it, it was ridiculous. But um, I decided to make. I was uh, I was Bobby Drake, who's Iceman from the X Men, and I was leaving right. all these uh, references about Xavier's mansion and how Magneto's after me and. Uh, all this crazy shit. He just, like, didn't figure it out. 
<laughs> so uh, at the end, I destroyed him. I sent him Wikipedia links to to who Iceman is and Xavier wow. and all that shit. And I just destroyed. It's all on the forums uh, in the whatever section. It's called wasting scammers time. So uh, I got bored at work the other day, and I made a new email address and set up a new voicemail. And uh, this time I'm Dick Grayson. And if you Wikipedia that, that's actually Robin. Ah from Batman and Robin. <laughs> and I'm pulling him through the entire thing all over again. Uh, and so he, he's sending me all the forums again. I'm pulling him through all again. And uh, I'm going to be putting all those on the forums. And at the very end, I'm just like, ah, it's me again. You're stupid. Ha, ha, ha. This guy's... Wow. Never read a comic book in his life. Yeah, it, it's, it's fucking hilarious. Um, that is... That is probably like one of the greatest things I've ever heard in my life. No lie. You you'd think after the first time he would, uh, you know, like use Wikipedia know. on a regular. Yeah, like if I sent him a name, <laughs> you'd think he'd Wikipedia it and check it out and be like, let me just make sure this guy isn't totally fucking with me again. <laughs> uh, but he's totally not. And hey, uh, Master Master Grayson, I like to be called, and uh, you know. I have a roommate. His name is Bruce, and Alfred usually answers the phone. So just if he picks up, tell him I'll just give me my cell phone number or something. Yeah, I put um, I put as my uh, in the new in the new thing. I put um, as my occupation. I put crime fighting, and um, <laughs> and uh, and heroism. And he, he still just didn't get it. It's so ridiculous. So this guy gets everything he deserves. And people, like, some people are like, oh, I feel so bad for him. It's like, he's trying to scam people out of thousands of dollars. Um, they feel bad for the for the scammer? Yeah, they feel bad for the scammer. Wow. And it's like, I, I was telling people at work, I'm like, oh, that poor guy. I'm like, he's trying to scam people out of thousands of dollars. Like, you really shouldn't feel bad for him, you know? He could have been them. Yeah, exactly. You're 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 a serious hero though. You're you're saving somebody else from getting scammed. Exactly. Exactly. I'm trying to waste as much of his time as possible. And uh you know, all right, uh I just set it up. This is fucking hilarious. All right. Take a listen. This is my newest uh voicemail from this guy. Uh I'm no longer Bobby Drake. I am now Dick Grayson. So take a listen. Hello, Dick Grasson. This is Barrister <laughs> Muhammad Ali calling from Malaysia. Malaysia. I'm really not feeling fine all these days. That's why I couldn't get back to you earlier. Please check your email and get back to me as soon as possible. Again, this is Barrister Muhammad Ali from Malaysia. I call and I got my proposal to you. Thank you <laughs> as I wait for a response. Thanks. Oh, you're so welcome. <laughs> that you are what? Thank you. Because I am going through this whole thing again. This guy is going to let out. <laughs> when I emailed him again, he uh, he told me he was uh, sick for three weeks. And uh, I was thinking, Oof. like, three weeks ago was the last time I totally destroyed him. I'm wondering if I made him sick, because that would be awesome. That would be, yeah. Then you really got to him. Now you're just going to make him... You're going to get him even more sick. You, you don't want to kill the guy, though. I'm, that wouldn't be too good, but then Not again... Not yet. Not yet. I, I do eventually want to murder him. <laughs> you notice he said... Uh, he, he, he said you want to check your email, and then it sounded like he said something about something with your pussy do. I don't know. I couldn't quite understand exactly what he said. Yeah, that was about it. Was there subtitles, or was that just a voice message? That was a voicemail. What I did is, uh, well, originally, uh, I have a voicemail for the podcast, and I gave him the right. voicemail for the podcast. Every time he called, I would just play it. Uh, but I set up a new voicemail just for him, for this one. <laughs> and, uh, oh, man. Yeah, and so I got him going again. Uh, his first email, he said... Um, uh, I'm very sorry for the late reply because I'm not feeling fine since three weeks. So uh, that was the last time I destroyed him. So hopefully I did that. 
and then uh, he, mission accomplished. He also changed his entire scam uh, since last time. Now he sent me a, a phone number to a bank, which I looked up. The bank is you know not real, but um, right. Uh, he wants me to call the phone number, which is probably his buddy, and uh, his buddy is going to send uh, me some info. So it's different because last time he was doing all this stuff, and I didn't have to. Uh, you know, I this, didn't have to do anything. So he's getting guy, smarter. He he, you might have got him in trouble the first time, which is good. You might have got him in trouble the first time, where uh, his boss may have given one last shot with somebody. You could be that last shot, and you're just gonna turn him down again. Oh, uh, dude, he's getting smarter because I told him I called the bank. I just made up shit. I'm like, I called the bank. They told <laughs> me it would take 48 hours, and uh, they they need a signature. And uh, he just he wrote me back about a half hour ago, and he wrote, "Do you send the letter to the bank as directed? What was their respond?" So like, he's keeping tabs. This is his buddy, I guess, and he like they haven't figured out like, you know, what they're gonna do. Did you uh, did you write him back or? No, I just read it just now. Um, what I'm probably gonna do is uh, I'll I'll fax him. I'm going to fax him my question. No, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll figure it out. I'll get this guy back, and I'll I'll, I'll post it next week, what, I'm, what I did to him. That's awesome. I'll, 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 I'll keep him going, though. You should, send, you should tell him that the bank sent you a map of, like, a, like a buried treasure or something. <laughs> <laughs> like in the Goonies. You just start talking about, like, Goonies characters or something, and it's just like... You can send it, like, find a map online and just, like, send it to him. Be like, this is what they sent me. I'm going to find it. Call me back in, like, three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, what I want to do is waste as much of his time as possible. So, like, I don't know. He might go for that. I don't know. He doesn't seem to understand anything I say to him. Because I already mentioned uh, Joker and Two-Face, and he still didn't say anything. <laughs> so... Because he, he has Harvey, a secret uh, code in his emails. He goes, from now on, I will put this secret code in my email, M-A, for Muhammad Ali. And uh, if you don't see M-A, uh, then don't respond. Or send me the email to make sure it's me. The very next email, he forgets his own code, and he doesn't put it. So I just want to write back to him. I go, is this you, or is it the Joker or Two-Faced? Because I I've been having some problems. Uh, he just doesn't get it. Uh, it's... <laughs> It's Harvey Dent, man. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna uh, I'll post all that on the forums under wasting scammers time, and uh, I'll uh, I'm gonna keep this guy going some more. He's That's getting, awesome. He's getting smarter and harder to fuck with, but I'll get him. <laughs> and at the end, I'll tell him it's Bobby Drake again and how he's stupid and you know, <laughs> destroying him. Yeah, my roommate's name is Dick Grayson. Thought she should know. <laughs> I just be like, do you ever Wikipedia anything? You. St- Stupid, stupid man. <laughs> Start using Mortal Kombat names and then be like, yeah, it's Johnny Cage. Yeah. Or like, <laughs> uh, Genghis Khan or whatever his name is. Been Goro. in a battle with Raiden, so uh, sorry for the delay in the emails. He uh, caused some electrical problems, so I couldn't answer you back. <laughs> but he does, he gave me his awesome hat. He, he what? He gave me his <laughs> awesome hat. <laughs> Here, talk to my roommate real quick. His name is Liu Kang. He wants it. <laughs> Sonya Blade. Oh, I love this guy. He gives me so much entertainment. <laughs> All right, so uh, I think we're uh, out of time. No. I know. I know. We'll we'll do this again soon. Oh yeah, the tenth, right? The tenth, or? Uh, I I think so. I'll have to get back to you because since. People canceled. Uh, I don't know if they rescheduled for that date or not, but uh, I will let you know uh, uh, at the end of the week. Okay, cool. But if not, we will reschedule very shortly. All right. So uh, thanks for coming on. Uh, Thank you for having me. Fun again, man. Anytime, man. So uh, check out the store and uh, iTunes. Subscribe and reviews, please. Uh, I would like the show to um, start growing a little bit because, you know, we're getting more listeners, but it's growing very, very, very slowly, and it's getting a little, uh, you know, a little frustrating. And that you can you can promote by buying a shirt. 
You could. So people could be like, oh, Brink of Sanity show. Mm-hmm. That's an awesome shirt. And it's a good-looking shirt. Check it out on the website, brinkofsanityshow.com. It's, you know, I, I wouldn't have put it up there if I didn't think it looked good, you know. So uh, check it out, and um, I don't know. Uh, I guess that's it, right? I don't want to confuse everyone with all this. You know. <laughs> it's iTunes and shirts this week. I don't want to, you know. There's, uh, it's Podcast Alley and Facebook and Dig and all that shit, but, uh, you know. Vote, subscribe. Do all Listen that shit. Go fucking all. crazy. Just, you know, do all this shit. <laughs> and uh, we'll be back next week with a brand new show for you guys. So uh, thanks for listening, and uh, we'll be back soon. Peace. Goodbye.